hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with uh, transducers used in biomedical uh, measurement system so in the previous uh, few videos we discussed uh, basic concepts related to transducers the basic introduction so in this video we are going to discuss about a particular category of transducers used for various uh, biomedical measurements so this video will be a basic introduction about uh, displacement position and movement or motion transducers used in the medical instrumentation system so as you can understand these uh, sensors or transducers are used for measurement of the movement of the various body parts or organs okay it is related to that so before uh, going into detail we just have a quick uh, look at the basic definition of a transducer so transducers are basically energy conversion devices which convert one form of energy into another so basically the input to a transducer is it can be anything it can be a physical signal a mechanical signal it can be a chemical uh, or optical signal anything non electrical quantity we convert it into electrical form voltage or current form okay so there are various examples for temperature transducers pressure transducers displacement or movement transducers which we are going to discuss so this is the basic block diagram of a measurement system be it for any measurement system so it consists of the transducer block the signal conditioner block used for amplification filtering noise reduction linearization power supply and then uh, which uh, processes or analyzes uh, the output of the transducer and then the output system consisting of display alarm or storage okay so i would like you to please watch the uh, videos on sensors and transducers and instrumentation which i have posted uh, earlier it was a long time ago so you please watch that playlist so that you understand this these things in a better way because here i will just uh, quickly go through the various things because we have already discussed them in detail in that playlist okay so displacement position and motion transducers so as i said uh, these transducers are used for the measurement of the size shape and position of the various organs in the body okay the various organs that are present which are of white which are very important for the functioning in order to measure their size shape and position we use displacement position and motion transducer okay they are of diagnostic significance they are used to pinpoint a medical anomaly so they help in doing that for example what kind of a, a measurement we are talking about here in medical terms for example change in the diameter of blood vessels changes in the volume shape of the cardiac vessels movement of fluids or blood in the body various body parts for example movement of fluids through heart valves so there are a lot of other things it is uh, best known to the people in the medical background with medical good sound medical knowledge but for us instrumentation engineers we just need a basic understanding of these things the applications okay we don't have to go into detail about uh, biology okay so the commonly used transducers which are used for this movement or displacement position uh, measurement they are potentiometric transducers which are based on change in resistance variable capacitance transducers 
variable inductance transducers, uh, piezoelectric transducers, linear or angular encoders, uh, linear variable differential transformers, okay, LBDT. So, basically these transducers are used for measurement of uh, displacement position. So, in this video we are going to discuss about the potentiometric transducer, okay. And in the upcoming videos, we will be covering uh, these transducers, okay. So, first potentiometric transducer. So, the potentiometer is basically a resistive transducer. So, resistive transducer means it depends on change in resistance, okay. The main uh, parameter which varies which gives us the information that some external parameter is changing is through change in resistance. So, how the resistance change? So, basically it uh, operates on the principle of voltage division rule. Okay? So, it can either be a linear movement potentiometer in straight line rectilinear motion to and fro or it can be a rotatory movement. Okay? So, the basic construction of a potentiometer is a resistive element with a sliding contact. Okay? See, a resistive element with a sliding contact which moves either in a linear way, straight way to and fro or in a rotatory, in a rotational motion. Okay? So, this is the resistive element, this is the movable arm which is called as wiper. Okay? And uh, the potentiometer is bas basically it is of two types as you can see the linear potentiometer and the rotary potentiometer. Linear is uh, straight motion okay, in straight line motion and this is rotatory 360 degree motion. So, this potentiometer it basically operates on the principle of voltage division rule. So, how uh, it works? Okay. So, this movable arm is connected for medical uh, measurements. This movable arm is connected to the body part or the point where displacement has to be measured. Okay any change in position is to be measured. So, this is connected, this movable arm, the wiper is connected to that point. So, when there is any change in the position or uh, any change in uh, the, the, in the displacement of the specific organ, then along with that movement of that organ, this wiper or this movable arm also moves to and fro. So, there is a change in the position of the wiper on the resistive element. So, this changes the resistance value at the output. So, this is the circuit diagram, basic circuit diagram involving the potentiometer where we have a supply voltage which is connected across the potentiometer and this position of the wiper determines the value of the output resistance. Okay? The instantaneous value of the resistance depending on the position of the wiper. And as per voltage division rule, we get the output across this resistor Ri, where total resistance is Rp. Okay? So, the output V output is simply V into Ri by Rp. Okay? V into Ri by Rp. I have discussed these things in detail in the potentiometer video also. You can check out that video. So, here we will just go simply uh, in a quick way. We will not go into the detailed mathematical derivations and calculations. So, the output voltage is simply the voltage appearing across this resistor the instantaneous value of the resistance depending on the position of the wiper. So, V out is V into Ri by Rp the total resistance of the potentiometer. 
this is the instantaneous value of the resistor depending on the position of the wiper and that is the output voltage appearing across this resistance Ri. Okay, so the output voltage is given by the supply voltage V multiplied with the instantaneous value of the resistance depending on the position of the wiper, the movable arm, this Ri divided by the total resistance of the potentiometer Rp. Okay, so this is the mathematical representation of the output voltage as per voltage division rule. Okay, and then further signal conditioning is required. The voltage divider is the signal conditioning. Then we can have further signal conditioning such as amplification if there is any uh, noise removal or filtering is required depending on the requirement of the display and control devices that has to be done. So this is the uh, linear potentiometer similarly in the rotational potentiometer also this movable arm is connected to the point where displacement is to be measured depending on that this, this wiper it changes its position which controls the amount of output resistance ok. So this is the uh, working principle of the potentiometer for measurement of displacement, position and uh, the uh, motion of various organs in the body. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to uh, engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.